Hi, in this video we are going to talk about what is IKEA effect. But only people with good analytical thinking will, will be able to understand and execute this theory. And to find that out, let's solve a quick maths problem. I hope you got enough time and I hope that you have your answer with you. So keep it with you and we will come back to it later. So it is observed that people used to pay more money to buy loose furniture from IKEA and then you know assemble it themselves rather than buying a fully furnished product. Sounds strange, right? It is also observed that when a guest comes home, the host used to show off that one piece of furniture that they have assembled themselves because there is a feeling of pride attached to it. So the term IKEA effect was coined by US researcher Michael I. Norton, Daniel Moken and Dan Adley. So the term in 2011 they conducted an experiment where they picked two group of people. To the first group they gave uh, the fully furnished IKEA product and to the second group they gave the loose furniture. To the first group after that they asked both the groups to price the final product that they had and to their surprise the group that had put an extra effort to assemble the furniture had priced the product much higher than the first group. So basically the IKEA effect is a tendency where people are more likely to like a brand or a product if they have built it themselves or you can say that they are invested in it in some form. So basically the, and it is very similar to another cognitive bias called endowment effect where people tend to value a product more if they have some kind of ownership on that product or a brand where people so if you own an iPhone then you might value the Apple stock a little bit more and vice versa. So if you So humans have this deep psychological need to feel competent. I mean obviously nobody would like to feel incompetent. I mean so when we build something or when we solve something it caters to a deep uh, human need to feel competent. It gives us confidence and satisfies us to the core. IKEA effect can also be explained through another bias called effort justification. This basically says that when we put some extra effort to get something or to buy something, we like to believe that that effort was for some reason and we value the final product more. First I will give you some examples and then I will give you some ideas about how you can use this for your own brand. So the first example is of sneaker brands where they ask their customers to select the color and the design of the sneaker that they want and they, it, and they customize it for them. Another popular example is Subway where they ask their customer to select the ingredients so you feel that you have built that final product and obviously you will value it. Another, And by now you might have figured it out that building something is not necessary. It's more about getting them invested in your brand. And, and this investment could be their time, their money, their physical effort or even their idea. Like if you have a YouTube channel, you can ask your viewers to perform a task before watching your video. For example, you can ask them to solve a quick maths problem. If you are a university, you can ask your uh, aspirants to you know, give an entrance test. Or if you are a fashion brand or uh, a f e-commerce brand, then you can conduct a pop quiz and the winner of that pop quiz, you can give them a coupon code or some cash back rather than just handing it over to them. Or if you are a fashion brand, so put on your thinking hat and think about how you can get your customer to get more invested in your brand, how you can get your customer to put in some extra effort to buy your product, to get your product. 